Hello! Now it's 5 o'clock. We're going to start our FB Live. How many of you here are excited for today? Can you type in the chat box? I am excited. Okay. How many of you are not? Thank you. Thank you, man, for being excited for today. Thank, hello, Anne. Nice to see you here. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation. Welcome to our FB Live today, entitled, An Insurance Plan with No Beneficial. Can that happen? Pwede ba yun? Okay. What makes this video special is that today, you will discover three possibilities on how come a life insurance policy has no beneficiaries. Second, we will learn three steps on what to do about it. And third, three tips on how to avoid that to happen. Interesting topic, right? Thank you, Anne, for that, that comment. My name is Sheila Ong, and I help business owners maximize their investments in their life insurance policies by making sure that insurance claim benefits will go to the rightful heirs. Now, how many of you here have life insurance policies? Can you type I in, your, in the comment box? For those who are watching this on replay, you can, you can still participate by messaging in the comment in our chat box. Have you checked your policies kung sino ang mga beneficiaries nito? Check if correct ang mga spelling. I-check natin kung tama ang mga birthday. And i-check natin kung sila nga talaga ang gusto natin gawing beneficiaries. Thank you, Anne, for that. Okay. Yan. So, few weeks ago, I had an inquiry. The oldest sister got a life insurance policy. Ang kanyang beneficiary is ang kanyang mother. Okay. So, what happened, no? The, this person passed away. And the mom died ahead of her. So since wala nang ibang nakastate na beneficiaries, para naging zero ang beneficiary. Wala nang beneficiary, no? Okay, and then um, the insurance agent is a relative. So there's yung, yung nag-i-inquire is a sibling of that sister who passed away. And concerned siya, paano yun, di ba? Ano nang gagawin natin? Okay. So we will talk about this later. Business owners tend to forget on checking on who are the assigned beneficiaries on their policies. So, ito yung classic example natin. No? Why? Why? Bakit natin nakakalimutan? No? Because we are very focused on our business. Or we rely too much on our financial advisor. And sometimes we're thinking that dying will not happen anytime soon. Do you agree? Type in the chat box, agree. Okay, so before we talk about the possible scenarios of not having a beneficiary, no? let us identify sino ba ang dapat ang beneficiary natin. Okay, thank you, Mayan, for that. Agree? Okay. Yan. So first, no, kung mayroon tayong asawa, ang talagang inuuna natin, syempre, ang ating spouse. And then followed by our children. If you don't have family, wala pa tayong asawa at, at anak, pwede natin i-assign ng ating mga parents, di ba? So, followed by our siblings. Now, if we don't have parents anymore, no, let uh, we will assign our siblings followed by the pamangkin, their kids. Yan. So, yan yung um, proper way of assigning beneficiary. Siyempre, people who are close to our hearts, di ba? Okay. Now, now, let's talk about the three possibility, the scenario, no? Okay. So, ang first Usual nangyayari, both spouse died because of illness. Example, classic example now is the COVID. Usually, nagsasabay-sabay, di ba? Yung, especially noong 2020. So if that happens and wala tayong ibang inassign na beneficiary, yan, wala na siyang beneficiary. Second, both spouse died in an accident. Okay, so madalas syempre, as a family, we travel, di ba? We have vacation, we ride the airplane. So if there's a plane crash, Sabay na nagpasaway, wala na namang beneficiary. 
And the third possible scenario is the, the story that I mentioned kanina is that the beneficiary passed away ahead of the insured and hindi na na-update. Okay. So now, I have these three tips. Ano bang dapat gawin para hindi ma-avoid natin itong mangyari? Okay? So ang first tip is that we need to assign adults. No? So yung kanina example, spouse, di ba? Assign adults as the primary beneficiary. Siya yung unang tatanggap. And then assign contingent beneficiaries. These are the children. So kung yung walang asawa, no? parents are the primary beneficiary, contingent beneficiary are the siblings. Okay. And the third, the siblings ang ating primary, pwedeng contingent ang ating mga pamangkin. Okay, so, ang pag-update naman ng beneficiary names are, ano, anytime pwede natin gawin, we'll just fill up a form. Okay, and walang bayad yan. Usually, I encounter that question, no? Mag-update ako ng beneficiary next time, may bayad ba? It's free. Okay? So, it's okay to update from time to time. Now, um, why why did I say no yung tip number one ko is assign adults as beneficiary because if you assign minor usually kasi pag may mga kids tayo ang inu inuuna nating ina-assign are are our kids di ba kasi syempre para sa kanila naman ito ngayon if they are still minor it's not advisable na gawin natin siyang beneficiary as primary because if that happens since minor pa nga they cannot sign any legal documents documents dumadaan tayo sa court nag sila ng legal guardianship for the trustee. So if that happens, costly ito and tumatagal. No? And yun nga, since we pay, we pay the judge, we pay the lawyers, nasasayang naman yung insurance claim natin, nababawasan. So it's better talaga, it is best that assign natin ang beneficiary natin, yung mga adults na. As mentioned kanina, we can, ano naman, we can change anytime. Once na nag, nag, ano na sila, 18 na sila and above, pwede na natin silang gawing primary beneficiary. Okay, so that's my tip number two, assign kids as contingent beneficiary and you can change it naman anytime. Okay, yan. So, pansalo, no? So, yung, yung kaninang scenario natin, if both parents pass away, yung insured and the beneficiary, if, if naka-assign contingent beneficiary ang mga kids, sila na ang makakatanggap diretso na sa kanila. Ngayon, if they're still minor, we need to assign a trustee. Okay, so the trustee will just facilitate the documentation, facilitate with the legal legal guardianship, no, with the lawyers, with the judge, ganyan. So, now as you assign your trustee, make sure na trusted natin ito. So, pwedeng yung mga kapatid natin or parents natin, no. Yan. So, make sure na trusted niyo talaga siya because sila na yung magta-take care ng funds. Okay, but don't worry because whenever there's a claim, check talaga yan ng mga insurance company. Making sure na yung makamakukuha nating mga ano, mga claim is right right for them and and we need to present mga receipts like like mga medical medical receipts, 'di ba? Kunya rin hospitalized or mga school receipts, no? Oh, ito Itong funds, I need this fund para sa school. Yun. So, meron tayong mga ganong rules. Kaya hindi naman basta-basta yun na ibibigay sa, trust, sa trustee, di ba? It is still named under the kids. Pero siya lang yung nagpa-facilitate. Okay. Now, yun. so as mentioned kanina, no? pag nag-18 na ang mga bata, anytime you can assign them as your primary beneficiary. Okay. Yan. So, tip number three. So so once na nag 18 we can immediately update change the beneficiary or if nag may nag pass away nag, yung beneficiary mo nag pass away we need to update it agad immediately or if you change your decisions okay so let's say bigla ang primary beneficiary is your kid are your kids and bigla ayaw mo na gusto mo na mama mo because of pasaway we can do that okay yeah so, if you have question, guys, feel free to just type in the chat box. Okay. Now, we will talk about the three steps on, on what to do, no? If that happens already. So, kanina kasi how to avoid, di ba? Ngayon naman. Hi, Katrina. Thank you for watching. 
Okay, so ngayon naman, we will talk about three steps on what to do if nangyari na yung na wala nang beneficiary sa ating policy and we need to claim. Okay, the first step is that we need to identify the rightful heirs. Okay, so for that example na na-mention ko kanina, no? um, the mom passed away, the beneficiary passed away, ang natira na lang mga siblings. So, so that's, at yung identification, yun na, siblings. So we need to follow the intestate succession law. So yun. Uh, meron, you, you can search, no? Uh, intestate succession. So paano ba mag-distribute ng wealth if pinafollow na natin yung government rules? So maraming scenario yan. Okay, so if you want to know more and you want us to discuss about it, you can, we can do that. We can do that in a 30-minute call. Okay, next. You need to decide among the heirs who will receive the claim. Okay, divided by ba to? Hati-hati ba tayo? Or sa'yo na lang, bunso, since ikaw yung mas may kailangan. So depende yan sa decision ng mga rightful heirs. Okay? Yan. So that's the third, third no? How, how much yung allocation sa paghahati-hati natin? Okay, no? Second, step two, we need to get a judiciary settlement form. Okay? So this form, you can ask this from the insurance company kung saan tayo magka-claim. So meron silang template on that. You just fill it out, sign, sign the form. No? Yung lahat ng uh, rightful heirs na dapat makatanggap, magsasign, and nandun yung decision on how to uh, distribute that wealth. And you need to have it notarized. Okay. And then step three, file the claim. No? Get the list of requirements. Uh, you can ask assistance from your financial advisor. You need to prepare everything. And you just submit the complete documents and you'll get your claim. Okay. Yan. So meron ba kayong mga questions? Just feel free to type in the chat box. Now you understand better how do we need, how do we assign beneficiaries? No? How, how does it work? No? Now, you get to learn also the three scenarios or possibilities on how come that there are no beneficiary in the policy. Diba? You get to know today to three steps on what to do if your life insurance has no beneficiary and tips on how to avoid this. Now you're thinking siguro, no? ha, ha, ano ba yung proper way of distributing wealth? How do we avoid taxes, estate taxes? And how do we equally divide it? Okay, so I am here to help business owners maximize their income and at the same time guide, guide them on how to pass on their wealth properly and equally to the rightful heirs. Okay, so you can reach out to me and have a 30-minute video call, and I can assist you with these three things. We can review your goals for estate planning. So estate planning is, means how do we distribute wealth to your heirs, diba? We can review your existing plans, checking the correct details of your beneficiaries, and guide you to achieve your goal on how to pass on your wealth properly to your rightful heirs. So I'm calling... Business owners who wants to make sure that their hard work, hard work money, hard earned money will be properly passed on to their heirs without worrying about the possible blood war within the family. Yan. So marami tayong mga, mga kwento di ba, na nag-aaway-aaway sa mana. So I'm giving away free 30-minute call. Choose, just choose your best schedule. So I'll put this in the chat box. Okay. Yeah, so just nakita niyo na ba ang aking link? Yeah, and here you go. Here's the link. Okay, ju just feel free to book a call with me. It's for free. So I can guide you with your, with your estate planning, with the wealth that you have that you want to distribute. Okay, so feel free to let me know your key takeaways for today. Yeah. What are your learnings? What are your tales? What, are your, what, what is the significance of what we talk about today in your life? What are your aha moments? 
and your insights. Feel free to type in the chat box. Okay, so there's a message here from Anne. Do not assign minors as primary beneficiary. Ah, question. It's a question. Question by Anne or it's an insight. It's a takeaway. It's not advisable to, to assign. But if wala na talaga tayong ano, um, choice, let's say no, no option, no other option, pwede naman. Uh, you just need to assign a trustee. Yung trusted mo talaga. Para... para peace of mind tayo na matatanggap ng mga bata yung ating claim. Okay. Ah, it's a takeaway. Okay, thank you, Anne. And I have here from me, Anne, how old yung, yung parents na pwede maging, how old yung parents pwede pa maging beneficiary? Ah, wala naman age limit kasi since they are the receiver, wala tayong limit sa age. So, ano lang, feel free to, to assign them as your beneficiary. So, tsaka na lang natin i-update in the future kung, kung, na, kung na, na, nauna na, parang ganyan. Thank you. Thank you, Anne, for the takeaway and may Anne for the question. So, if you have more questions, just type in the comment section there. Yan, sige. So, if wala nang question, no? uh, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you learned a lot, at least new learnings, ano, and we know how to avoid avoid na hindi na mangyari na mawala ang beneficiary, di ba? So next week, we will talk about tips on how to preserve our wealth. Thank you very much, and see you next week. Invite friends. Bye! Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you find this helpful, please like and subscribe on my channel and feel free to share this to your friends. Thank you.